Is that weird? It's like when I'm not hiking, I'm thinking about hiking. When I'm hiking, I'm thinking about the things I can do because I was hiking. <laughs> Hey guys, Merry Christmas. We are here in the Superstition Mountains at the trailhead of the Hieroglyphic Trail. It's a moderate hike in the Superstition Mountains here in Arizona and we are going to walk you through this beautiful hike today. Uh, I'm getting over back injury like I said, so this is my back to the uh, <laughs> call sort of hike. So according to all trails, this is a 2.8 mile hike. Um, it's kind of flat. Uh, all the way here, maybe only 500 feet elevation gain. Um, so this is supposed to be nice. It was raining yesterday and today uh, we're probably expecting some rain here. And for that we do have our rain jacket and we are all geared up. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. This section of the trail has two forks. The first one takes you to the Lost Gold Mine Trail and then the second one takes you to the, the Hieroglyphic, Hieroglyphic Trail. trail. <laughs> there are petroglyphs. And this is where we are headed. They're very scared. <laughs> Why? They're petrified. Like those uh, like those trees in the forest. The weather is very beautiful and look at all the choyas here. And then the sky. Very pretty. This is usually a very busy hike or a very busy trail but today since it's Christmas day and it's been raining for the last few days it's a little bit busy I mean we're still meeting people on the trail uh, it's kids friendly pets friendly Hi. Taking a rugged way for it And here we come to this fancy gate. This is built by the ancient peoples, the Ho Ho Kayans. <laughs> not true, not true. <laughs> Dead cactus. It's amazing how I read uh, somewhere that birds will build nests in uh, empty holes like this but a little bit further up so that they are safer from predators okay this is a beautiful um trail really right now it is yeah especially today because it's quiet uh the rain and then the clouds and a little bit of the sunshine coming from there but we'll see what happens when the sun goes down when the sun goes down see all those wild coyotes will come out Is that weird? It's like when I'm not hiking, I'm thinking about hiking. I'm hiking, I'm thinking about things I can do because I was hiking. <laughs> wow, this sunset is really beautiful today. And according to Alex, we are a little bit over halfway. Uh, maybe a little bit under. Under? This is GPS is screwy, but it says we've done a while. Okay, very cool. A little bit of a scramble here. For just a moment where we have to step down. It's a little wet at the end of the day here. Let me take the, the viewers and keep you guys safe. <laughs> Let me... Thank you. Hey. There you go. Yeah, looks like we're gonna see some petroglyphs. Very awesome. And when we read a little bit about the trail, it's indicated that there are a few pools over there that are feeding from the waterfall. And yeah, so we can see the pool. That's a good indicator. 
have to look up what makes them petroglyphs. Still, I think you know, speculated that something about organic material turned into rocks. So maybe like the rocks have some tree in them, or plant life, or maybe they carved them with. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Because they even call it a hieroglyphic trail. So you can get a better view of the pool here. Supposed to be up there. Hey, is it, these are the ones that we saw the guy. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so very cool. And I really can't help but notice, but there are a lot of times when we were hiking in the superstitions where I see like rocks that are like shaped like dudes or mm -hmm. little like pictures of, of people. So these petroglyphs seem to indicate the uh, just the existence of this particular area as a hangout spot, I would say. I, I don't know. It seems like it's got water and other things that could have some other meaning to the Hohokams. Uh, like you said, they uh, seem to have vanished around 1200 CE. Uh, I'm presuming CE is reasonably akin to AD. Uh, that being said, though, how hokum, the people who vanished, and, and here's where they were. So we can see little pictures that looks like uh, little robots to me, and then there looks like some uh, <laughs> animals. pictures of some animals. So we're going to walk a little bit further there and probably use our headlamps to kind of show you uh, what it looks like. All right, so I'm using my headlamp here to shine some light since it's getting dark. And you can see some drawings of animals. The Hohokam were also famous by their uh, well-engineered irrigation systems here in the in the Arizona. Is that, and true? Is that what these are? You think? Um, what do you think these are drawings? It could are? be. I'm not very sure. What do you guys think? What is this drawing here? What do, what does it represent to you? And I think from what I read, they also lived on um, corn and farming mainly, a little bit of hunting. Yeah, I honestly never heard about the Hohokam Indians, but that was a cool little historic trail. Yeah, nice easy hike too, which is nice. Can you guys see my screen here? So this is what we're looking at. There's a little Doodad with a head. <laughs> I don't really want to say what it looks like to me. But <laughs> that's what I want to say. It also <laughs> reminds me of uh, something from a video game. I think it's from Dark Souls where you have to go fight Manus. So that would be Dark Souls 1. Uh, anyway, ready? But So that's what we're looking at. Now check this out. So look at the back of my phone. Look at my phone. Oop, uh. So I got this night mode thing. Okay. So ready? So it's going to do this picture. Hold still, hold still, hold still. This is Alex's new Google phone. Google Pixel 4. So what it's going to do here is it's going to process the image. And if I press it right here, it'll show me what it thinks the image looks like. <laughs> that is really cool. It's quite accurate. It is quite accurate. I was really impressed, actually. Very nice. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're trying to come up with some techniques to show my face here in the video. But we are going to head back. And the same way we came in, it's pretty dark, so we're not going to be able to show more. With, With that, that, your trekking,